say you have a strategy that can trade multiple instruments. So you apply it to, let's say, 22 instruments, and you want to only take the best signals out of those instruments and trade those in a portfolio. Can you do that? And if you can, how? Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey from Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algo trading, and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily videos that I post on this channel. Also, it would be amazing if you can smash the like button as this will help me push the message of investing out to the world. So I did a video about Portfolio Maestro in TradeStation and you can watch that uh, in the top corner. And basically Portfolio Maestro, it's a really powerful engine to uh, test all your strategies on multiple instruments with many uh, position sizing, restrictions on portfolio or on strategy. Really, it's very powerful piece of software that is hidden from everybody else. I don't know why. But in any case, I am trying to bring this software to the surface so traders can use it uh, to their advantage. And in today's video, we will learn how to use Portfolio Maestro to rank the signals inside a portfolio of multiple instruments and only take the best to trade. So in the beginning, I will highlight the strategy. I will use a simple strategy. And if you are new to trading, then just know that long-term trend following works on multiple instruments easily. So, so with that in mind, I will use a strategy. Uh, basically, it's a 50 day in, 50 days in, and 20 days out. What does that mean? That means we will go long when the high crosses the 50 day high and we will go short when the low is below the 50 day low and we will exit both when the close is lower than 20 day low and we will exit the short when the close is greater than the 20 day high. So really a very simple strategy and I will uh, show you how it looks like. So as you can see, I plot here the indicators to see the highest high, the high, the 50 days highest high, which is the green line here. And the red line is the 50 days lowest low. And of course we can see, we can track it easily. And that is a very basic uh, trend following signal. And you might also heard of it as Don Chain Channel. It's uh, the same thing. And we can see this is crude oil daily. And we can see here that the price penetrates the highest high we go long. And when the price hits the lowest low of the past 20 days, we exit. Again here, it penetrates the highest high. We go long, same thing. And here is a short trade where, that we are still in. And if we go back... So this is a short trade and you can see it working it, it works beautifully on crude oil although that doesn't mean that it works beautifully on every instrument but it does so on some instruments and we will apply it to multiple futures instrument in a second i just want to highlight the simplicity of this strategy there is no stop loss no profit target no nothing entry exit fixed 50 days 20 days that's it so in TradeStation, if you go to File, New Application, and then you will have something called Portfolio Maestro. So this is where you test uh, everything on a portfolio. I added the strategy. It's a simple trend following. Symbol list. I have 22 uh, futures contract from multiple. Uh, so we have metals, agriculture, interest rate, and energy, and equity indexes. And that's it. And then you bring it into a Portfolio Maestro. And then you can add here, uh, we can have portfolio stops, be it target, stop loss, trailing stop, and constraints with margin to equity, many, many features. So I will try in this series to highlight the powerful uh, features in this portfolio. But today let's do uh, kind of simple stuff. So this is the portfolio of 22 futures market. So same strategy here. 
except now I applied it to the 22 future symbol and we can see we make four and a half million uh, dollars with uh, with one and a half million dollar maximum drawdown uh, this is since uh, August 2008 so it's uh, 13 years back starting with uh, $35,000 here and we can see the trade analysis this is and we can see not all of them making money for example DES is losing money and Nasdaq is losing money Russell index is losing money if you watch this channel then you know that the equity indexes are mere reverting indexes because I've done many mere reverting strategies on this and this just proves that yes we are right and the rest they are all performing very well and this is the trade list we are doing one contract each and we have let's see we have 8380 trades in total with an average of 516 dollars so this is the maximum throwdown which is a hundred and three percent of the original <laughs> at one point in time we dipped down below so at one point in time, actually, we cannot trade because it's more than 100%. So we lose money in 2019, 17, 16, 15, and 2011. And the rest of the years, we're making uh, good money. Uh, 2010 is a huge year, 179%. And also 2020 was a huge year with 77%. And then you can see this is the graph of all of them and we can see actually the performance by symbol so we can see crude oil uh, that's why i highlighted here because it's actually the best of the bunch and then right behind it is silver and then we have heating oil and then uh, the us which is the third tier treasury and then right behind it is emd which is the uh, s p 400 mid cap so this is the only equity index which is the mid cap index that does well with uh, trend following of course i handpicked <laughs> the good performance and the bad performance so there are of course other instruments that will perform uh, even worse than the equity indexes but i just handpicked those to illustrate the idea behind what i'm trying to do okay so the next step we can do is in strategy group so this is my strategy and the symbols i can actually tell the uh, software that to rank my signals based on sef uh, several criteria and then only take the best so here i'm going to use momentum so we will filter only the 95 percentile and we will measure the momentum between 30 and 120 so what, what we are telling the uh, software is to do, so we have 22 instruments, we will get signals. We will measure the performance of each instrument in the past between 30 and 120 days. And we'll only take the signals in the 95 percentile of momentum. The, so the curves looks very similar, but we can see we are getting less trades we're actually 1,000 trades less. The average trade is kind of the same, but we're making less money and less drawdown. But the drawdown now sits at 63%. So also now I'm going to use another feature in that is really powerful. So as part of the constraints that we can apply to the portfolio, is the net position to fixed capital ratio. So when you apply this, it will apply the number of open position. So the ratio here is 0.5. So it will use that ratio to limit the number of position that we can open. And once we apply it, we get this portfolio. So this portfolio now makes $845,000. Still, the average trade is very close and we have a much lower drawdown. So this drawdown, actually, if we graph it right now, the drawdown sits about 27%. So that's huge difference from this one. 
which is 63%. So this one makes $3.8 million at 63% drawdown. We have another one here at 60. We have another one here at 48 and another one at 51. With this portfolio, you are either getting an ulcer or getting bald or getting white hair. <laughs> you cannot escape that. But you want to make money. So, but you want to make money at, you know, with less drawdowns. So that's what you're trying to do with these restrictions on the portfolio. Okay, but the, the problem is now, instead of 3.8 million, we're making 800,000 only. So this is good in the right direction, but the money uh, is less. Uh, also, of course, the, the package is so powerful. So here, okay, now with everything else, I will add money management. So here I used a fixed fractional with ATR risk. And then I use that. So I have now the my strategy, which is the trend following. And I have my money management, which is 2% using two uh, times the 20 day ATR with a maximum of 15 contracts. And then I have the momentum ranking which is, this is all, by the way, sits on the portfolio. So the strategy is done. It's robust, whatever it is. And now I'm applying everything only on the portfolio. And then also I'm restricting the net open positions. So this is now 42% the maximum drawdown. And also we have here one 40%, another one 36, another one 36. But they're all below 42, which is kind of acceptable because now I'm making $1.2 million. So the original portfolio, oil and uh, crude oil, heating oil, silver, were making the top uh, money. And with the restrictions on the portfolio, we have the ES making money, which is totally weird, and the dollar index. So the portfolio restrictions with the money management, with the ranking, suddenly made these guys pop up. Why? Because it's it's picking a quality signal only. Look at the number of trades. So from 8,380 to only 354 trades. Because now we're only selecting the best trades by ranking them. And also, of course, we are using the... Uh, the uh, position sizing so now as you can see we have different positions so which amplifies the quality of the signal you see when you use position sizing alone it's basically using position sizing on all signals and of course not all signals are not created equal some of them are crappy and some of them are really good and some of them sits in between so when you rank the signals then you're actually filtering out the bad signals you're ranking on momentum, so you're getting the best signals. And also you're limiting the number of positions as per the money you have on the portfolio from the top. And that's why now the average trade is 3,500, while before it used to be 500. So you see now you're getting seven times uh, the average trade. You're still using the same strategy. We didn't optimize the strategy. We're only applying uh, filters on top of the portfolio we're only select look i have now i can see uh, the trees from the top and i can pick which tree is healthy and which tree is not while when you're planting basically the strategy in the beginning you don't see you cannot see which strategy which symbol is going to perform the best and you don't want to pick the best uh, symbol because you don't know how it's going to perform in the future but from a portfolio level it's totally different way at looking at your uh, strategy. So I hope this opens your eyes that really once you are at a portfolio level, it's a totally different game. Uh, you're not dealing with the strategy anymore. It's like a business. You know, in the beginning, you want to create the product. But then when you become the CEO of this company, it's not about the product anymore. Now it's managing the business of it. And that's actually what managing a portfolio looks like. It's like you're managing your business. You have multiple strategies, multiple symbols. And you want to, you know, get the best signals, allocate the most money to the most performing strategy and so on and so forth. As always, please do comment below, send me your questions. I would love to engage with you and discuss this further. And of course, I'm open to all nice comments also. <laughs> Don't be stingy with those.
Also, of course, you can join the Discord server where we discuss everything on a weekly basis. And as always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.